Okay, I'm using the harp magnetometer to look at a lightning strike that just happened. And this was really uh, nearby, so uh, it actually went way off the scale down to the bottom there. And the point I want to make, though, is that after the lightning hits, there's this low frequency stuff that happens. And that is the same thing that happens in the harp, uh, the harp downburst. Um, let me measure these frequencies here. Um, and that says it's two kilohertz, exactly two kilohertz. This is what I've been seeing over and over when there is a lightning bolt. And this just happened to be really close by, so it's nice and big. Um, but we can look at this. Uh, the actual pulse itself is, you know, hundreds of kilohertz, a few megahertz, just like the harp uh, transmission. In fact, let's look at these little bumps here. Let's see what frequency they are. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, what am I doing? There we go. And I gotta read it. Uh, 43 kilohertz. Okay, 43 kilohertz. So I don't know what that means, but the main thing is these big ones here are 2 kilohertz exactly. Again, we can see right here. It says 2.43 kilohertz. Well, this first one's always kind of strangely uh, okay let me measure like the second one. Oh, this this also happens at the harp that the frequency is actually changing as the thing okay two point oh two point zero kilohertz okay well you can see that this wave gets stretched out more and more this is exactly another lightning bolt uh, this is exactly what the harp uh, transmitter does. And probably the stuff in front of the bolt is a bunch of uh, ionization streamers. So uh, I just wanted to show that the ionosphere uh, behaves the same way whether it's a lightning bolt or uh, billion watt pulse from the uh, harp transmitters and uh, this is in honor of Nikola Tesla the first one to uh, be able to detect the magnetic field of uh, lightning bolts but he did it before the days of any kind of modern instruments which was a, a very great tribute to his incredible genius. He was the greatest genius of all time of uh, human civilization as far as electrical uh, inventions and innovation. Alrighty, so there you go. Two kilohertz just like the harp transmitter. So the ionosphere gets charged with energy and then it re-radiates that energy at a lower frequency. Alrighty, thank you for watching.